Howard, it starts with, um, I, I noticed on September 2nd, you had Jimmy Chu and the Allison Lutnick fundraiser. It's not just about September 11th, is it? No, you know, we, uh, we know that we can help others. We've been through uh, so much. So one of, the, one of the charities we like to take care of is uh, the families of guys who get hurt defending the country. And so, you know, a guy has a horrible uh, event with a mine or something like that, and we try to go take care of his, uh, his family. So that's one of the many charities. We'll take care of 150 charities uh, during the year. We're thrilled that one of them is someone uh, we lost at uh, Bloomberg. Howard, tell us, and, you know, meeting your son a few years ago, who's now in school, we're 14 years on, this doesn't get any easier every year, does it? No, you know, right around this time of year, I start getting, uh, you know, a little edgy, and, and I just, you know, there's so many people who I loved and cared for that I lost. You know, my brother Gary died at 36. My best friend Doug died at 39. I mean, so many people I cared for, and, uh, you know, they live, they live inside of you. You keep their memories positive and alive, but, uh, but it's, always, it's always tough, and it's, it's never not going to be. Howard, it's Michael. I, I'm wondering, and I was thinking of this as Tom was asking the question this morning. I was talking with somebody about this being the 14th anniversary, and they said, you know, there were people who who have been born since then who don't really have the experience of 9-11. And I'm wondering from sort of your son's perspective and what you pick up from his friends of how it's affected them, what it is like now for young people. Well, I was, uh, I was at his school uh, yesterday, and I gave a, uh, I gave a talk, and... Uh, you know, to them, it's uh, the rawness of it. Uh, you know, they want to be a part of it. They want people, young people want to be a part of American history. So they, uh, their hearts and minds are much more open than you would ever imagine because they know it's there. They know it happened. But, of course, if you were four or five or three, you're not going to really uh, have felt it the way that, that we did. So uh, what I find is, is young people uh, or people really even across the country, they just – they want to touch it and be a part of it, and they want as much information as they can yeah. so they can feel connected to America. Howard Lutnick with us with Cantor Fitzgerald. Mike, I just got in a wonderful note from Tom Schoed of Keith Briette and Woods, another firm that was just affected, sub yeah. substantially affected on September 11th. Tom Schoed, thank you for that note, and thank you for listening. Uh, Howard, uh, I'm wondering, in your experience now, how things have changed for not just people in the financial industry, but uh, people in New York, people in America, uh, as, as someone who was on the front lines of it, how do you think it has changed this country? Well, I think we didn't know uh, that we were under attack. You know, we, di we didn't know it. So you'd see in the newspaper, you know, you'd see these pictures, let's say of a terrorist attack in Israel or something, and it seemed sort of distant and far away. And, and then uh, here I am, you know, going to work, uh, dropping my son off his first day of kindergarten, and that's why I get to be here alive. And uh, and they attacked the World Trade Center and killed 658 of uh, of my friends and uh, people I worked with. So now I think we all know uh, the hatred that's out there. That that uh, you know that it's always possible that someone could attack something you're associated with, and it's really it's just hardened the world. You know, it's hardened America. It's hardened Europe. You know, we know that there are crazy people who. Uh, we just want to try to hurt us, and uh, and it's changed us from the inside, made us less naive, less uh, less beautiful, if you can. Uh, Howard Lutnick, tell us about the Cantor Fitzgerald Relief Fund. You and Edie have done such a great job uh, with that. Give us the forward motion on what you hope to do. So we started it uh, right after September 11th. I knew I needed uh, to take care of the families. So I gave uh, the money I had left uh, that was outside of Cantor Fitzgerald, because obviously Cantor Fitzgerald was destroyed at the time. Uh, and we started the Cannon Patrol Relief Fund to take care of the families of those we lost. You know, we raised uh, $180 million. Our firm gave 25% of everything we made for the first five years. That was $180 million. Then we started this charity day uh, where last year we raised $12 million. So we like to take care of, um, of different organizations, different charities. We like to take care of people who want to take care of others. So we're, we're looking uh, to take care of organizations that are, that are deeply connected, that want to touch uh, we give away 100% of mm -hmm. the money we raise. So uh, I, Cantor Fitzgerald and the, the partners of Cantor Fitzgerald and myself, we cover all expenses. So uh, like today, we're going to raise $12 million. We're going to give it away. All our thing about this, our employees waive their day's pay. So today will be one of the busiest days of their year for them, and they all agree to waive their pay so we can just give away every penny. Yeah. And uh, we like 
We like medicine. We like children's uh, organizations, and we especially like taking care of men and women of the military. Well, we like your support of the Peter C. Alderman Foundation. As well, Howard, I go on your floor, and when I pick up the phone to do a trade in support of Cantor Fitzgerald, it always loses money. But you'll have a starlet go out there, and she can raise Mike McKee. Howard Lutnick can go out there with some starlet. <laughs> Howard, he she'll said raise, he's not. Tom's not a starlet. She'll raise like eight hundred forty-two thousand in one call. I mean, it's just. <laughs> Extraordinary how that works. Well, uh, tell us, Howard, how people can contribute. Well, so uh, canterrelief.org, uh, we will match uh, whatever. Uh, if someone at large or my employees wants to make a donation at canterrelief.org, uh, we will match that. Uh, we will match that donation and we will give it to. And they can pick one of the, uh, you know, the dozens of charities they could uh, represent and help you guys uh, who, who take care of trauma and do the Peter C. Alderman Foundation or any one of the other 150 charities, and we will direct the money to one of those charities and help them take care of others. Because what we're trying to do is turn the worst of days for me uh, into something beautiful so that I have a purpose today. Instead of wanting to just pull the covers over my head and sort of pull into the fetal position, I can get up and, uh, and try to help others who are out there helping uh, make the world a better place, and, and that's really the best thing we can do today. Howard Lutnick is chairman, chief executive officer, Cantor Fitzgerald, uh, LP. It is amazing, Mike, to go over yeah. there, the, the, the Absolutely. orchestration that they've got, and of course the, the good people of Cantor Fitzgerald uh, doing trades. May I point out that they have Bloomberg's everywhere? Yeah. They have, you can't turn around without a Bloomberg term. They, uh, yeah, we salute Howard for what he's done. Yeah. I mean, two thirds of the firm was wiped out, including yeah. members of his own family. And the, what he has made out of it is absolutely amazing. Not just uh, in the firm's comeback, but in the yeah. charity efforts that they have uh, that they have done.